What's up everyone, Sean here from Crypto and Cause Investing to do a token review on the Pollux Protocol. So this token was brought to me by a friend that wanted me to check it out. And after checking it out, I really liked it. So I decided I'll make a video on it. Um, this is not a paid promotion. Just figured I would make a video, show it to my followers. If anyone was interested in checking it out, they can do so. Get their own research done and invest if they were interested. But let's go ahead and hop right on over to the website. We have PollexProtocol.com. Pollux Protocol, Layer 3 Multi-Chain Ecosystem Revolutionizing Cross-Chain Network. They'll be available on BSC, PooChain, Ethereum, Palm, which is Proof of Memes, Loop, and Arbitrum. You can go ahead if you want to get in touch with them and do your own research. You have Telegram. You have Twitter. I will go ahead and link both of these in the description so you have an easy way to get over there. But let's go ahead and check out the docs. So what is Pollux Protocol? Pollux Protocol is the first of its kind layer three blockchain ecosystem comprising of three main utilities. Pollux Protocol will launch on six networks, which we mentioned um, when we were looking at the beginning of the website. So the core and flagship platform, Pollux Galaxy. So Pollux Galaxy is a cross-chain farming and staking protocol, specially designed and built for meme, low market cap projects who aim to add reflections, etc., to their own projects. Project owners could simply head to our platform, choose the option they want for their project in their contract address in chain, choose the reward token in chain, and simply click confirm and it will be live on our DAP. Via this, projects could set up both cross-chain staking and cross-chain auto manual reflections. So what I like about that is that, you know, a lot of projects launch, they don't have the money. Some of them don't have the experience in as far as coding goes to actually give any utility. So this kind of offers a, you know, a lower end project like that, the ability to kind of have some right away utility without having to really do anything. So then we have the Pollux Atom Swap. Pollux Swap will be a multi-chain swap interconnected with the Pollux Interstellar. The main goal for this is to provide an API plugin using which project could simply host a swap on their website and let their investors enjoy hassle-free swaps. So again, kind of a way of having a swap without actually having to build your own swap or have the know-how or the money to be able to do that. So let's hop on down to the Pollux Interstellar. We aim to build the cheapest cross-chain bridge through a different method than usual, Liquidity Hub. Basically, the swaps created from the Atom Swap or Index and the Liquidity Hub and uses other swaps liquidity pools for bridging. So that's a really cool idea. So I know of a couple projects that are trying to make it possible that you can list your token on their swap or on their decks and that token doesn't actually have to set up their own liquidity pool it actually just pulls from the main liquidity pool set up because a lot of projects don't have the funds to be able to set up you know seven different liquidity pools because you know we typically when we launch a project we raise money for one liquidity pool so it's so hard to get on different exchanges and get different um, liquidity pool. So stuff like this is just that first step to being able to have one liquidity pool spread across all your different exchanges. But let's go ahead and hop right back over to the website. Come on down. Very nice website. All right. About us. We're a team of experienced Web3 um, personals with the passion to bring positive impact to Web3 and cost chain connectivity. Our CEO has worked with over 30 projects in this industry as a lead developer. We have multiple advisors and marketers on our team to help us succeed. So that's really important too. Um, obviously, this developer has a lot of experience. That's one of the first things that you kind of look for. While everyone has to start somewhere, it is nice when you get into a project that has a developer that has experience and knows what they're doing. Some of the other kind of red flags that you want to look for, because obviously this is DeFi, so you always have to be on the lookout. Partnerships, anytime a project is trying to create partnerships, that's always a great thing, especially if some of those partnerships are with other projects that you've come to trust and that you know. Contract audit nowadays pretty standard. You kind of have to have a contract audit. So anyone interested knows how to read them can go ahead and check that out. Obviously, LP being locked is one of the most important things. We've all been there with a rug pull. So LP locked, very important. They have their KYC, obviously, again, super important so that if anything nefarious does go on, you know, we do know who to hold responsible. So they have the Pollux Atom Swap, Pollux Interstellar, Pollux Galaxy, and Pollux Reflections, which we went over on the light paper. So again, a lot of these utilities seem to be able to offer other projects, especially 
like I believe they even said in the description, the low market caps that don't have the money to be able to fund this themselves. So all this stuff, and of course they do charge very low fees, which is awesome for the project itself because you know that's one of the most important things when you look at a DeFi project. Almost all of them are pretty much straight Ponzi schemes. You, you wanna look for projects that can create some kind of revenue that can bring something to the liquidity pool and something to the, uh, to the project other than just, hey, buy me, buy me, buy me. Like that, that ultimately just fails. Let's come on down. So that currently live on the Arbitrum network, total supply is 1 million, uh, ticker symbol, dollar sign pool, no met, deflationary reflections. So, I always like to see projects that no longer can mint any tokens. I know there's some projects out there that do mint additional tokens and a lot of times they do have some kind of utility which makes that necessary, but I like seeing that there's no more mint function in the contract. So 6% buy tax, 6% sell tax, 3% USDC reflections, 2% marketing, 1% auto LP. Let's check out the Ethereum network. Total supply is also 1 million, same ticker symbol. Of course, no mint, deflationary, and reflections. Uh, appears to be the same thing. 6% buy tax, 6% sell tax, 3% USDC reflections, 2% marketing, and 1% auto LP. If you go ahead and down on both of them, you can check out the Explorer, see what that's all about. Tokenomics for BSC, ticker symbol, of course, is the same. Buy tax and sell tax are a little bit different. 10% buy, 12% sell. Reflections are going to be 4%. We're going to have the same supply at a million. So I also wanted to point this out. Falling Star. This feature is inbuilt in our contract address when there's a major negative price impact. All the buys and sell taxes are used for LP. Buyback and burn and marketing. So, of course, in DeFi, we always know people are going to be pulling profits. There's always going to be that huge red line at some point. Typically, it's in the beginning but um, you just never know when that big whale is gonna sell. And this seems to be a built-in feature that kind of puts all taxes to go towards the buyback and burn and the sell tax so that when a big sell like that happens, you know, we can kind of start to see that recovery, which I mean, I think is actually a brilliant idea and I'm glad to see something like that. Let's see, Core Fuel, let's check that out. 5% of revenue generated from our entire ecosystem will be used to buy back and burn further contributing to the ever shrinking supply. So again, I'm a huge pro, um, fan of any project that does buyback and burns. Um, I have a few projects myself and a lot of our big focus is buyback and burns because obviously the more buyback and burns you can do, the more money you're injected into the LP and the lower you're making the supply, therefore making each token more valuable. Launch price is 0 0.045, estimated launch LP 30,000, Estimated launch market cap, 120,000, network BSC. So a lower market cap, which definitely makes it possible to, um, you know, to get that 10, 20, 30, hopefully 100x. But um, yep, that is Pollux protocol. Again, I really like it. Pretty sure I'm going to be investing myself. As I stated, I'm going to go ahead and link the website, the Telegram, the Twitter, everything in the description. So if you have any questions, you can go ahead and go in there and ask them. Always feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. I'm always checking DMs, all that stuff. But um, go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. And until next time, trade safe.